To much of the Star Rail universe, the Eons are functionally considered and treated as gods. Each of them hold tremendous power and can pull energy from their respective paths to achieve a myriad of reality-bending feats. Because of this, many mortals and even some immortals started to flock to certain eons depending on their own personal beliefs. As time went on, these groups naturally grew and most eons today tend to have a pretty big following. In this video, we're going to talk about the factions that follow the Eon of Preservation and see why they follow Clipoth and how they pray to it. Before we dive into those groups, if you want to see more Honkai Star Rail content, do consider subscribing to the channel. Most Eons tend to have one or two large groups who follow and venerate them, and for the Eon of Preservation, there are two main groups, the IPC and the Architects. Now, there are naturally smaller groups that follow this Eon in their own way, but to avoid making this video long, we'll just focus on the two biggest, starting with the IPC. The IPC, or Intel Astral Peace Corporation, is an interstellar conglomerate that have their hands in practically every business transaction in the known universe, making them extremely wealthy. The reason for this is because the IPC are the faction that the currency credits originates from. They functionally print money and every sale in the universe uses them as a common currency, which makes the IPC extremely powerful. While the IPC holds immense influence over the universe, they didn't really start off this way. In the beginning, the IPC were a small group of people who followed Clipoth. After witnessing it building its great celestial comet wall, this group decided that it wanted to help the god because a godlike being building all these walls must have a pretty good reason for doing so, right? So despite not knowing what its reason was, they started providing Clipoth with all manner of construction materials, from timber, reinforced concrete to even steel, and even started calling themselves Clipoth's support team. But after a while, they started running out of these materials and ventured out into space looking for more. Often, they would run into other sentient beings and started to barter objects or goods from another planet for the resources of another, and eventually, they became the intermediary for trades. In order to capitalize on their monopoly, they created the credit to make it easier for different planets to trade with each other as well as allow them to control these transactions. This essentially grew the organization to the behemoth it is today and took on the name of the IPC. Despite this newfound position, the higher ups still considered themselves as Clipoth's support team and would support Clipoth in many endeavors of preservation, such as protecting other planets and even defending them from those who would do harm. They still provide Clipoth with construction materials, but the funny thing is, is that Clipoth has never actually used them. The IPC have been around for a really long time, almost 800 Ember eras, and regard Clipoth as the oldest Eon in existence, though this is likely just fan service in admiration of their god. Now Herta has once spoken about Clipoth and its followers, and in her summation of the two groups that follow it, this is what she mentioned. Of the two groups that venerate Clipoth, the first group viewed the actions of the god as divine and thus give up resources in an attempt to assist it almost like an offering. These are the IPC. The next group, the architects, are slightly weirder, at least according to Herta, because to them, the act of building a wall itself is what is sacred. And so their interpretation of it is to build more walls. Walls to cover your home, walls to protect your planets, walls everywhere. Of course, Herta being the sarcastic gremlin that she is, is kind of exaggerating a little bit here. What the architects believe is that with Clipoth building its walls, there is likely a calamity that is on its way, and so one must do whatever they can to protect themselves from it. Because of this, the architects construct walls to protect their planets, their homes, and whatever else they feel is important to them. Functionally, the architects are doomsday preppers, taking the actions of Clipoth as a sign of impending doom. They even take the idea of walls into the philosophical realm, with claiming things like the greedy have a wall of riches which won't ever help them. The architects in Bellabog, for example, consider building the last city as an act akin to building walls, as they protect the last remnants of its people, so there's a lot of room for interpretation among the followers of the architect. Now the interesting thing is that despite both these factions being very devoted to Clipoth and are extremely large and influential organizations, Clipoth itself hasn't really paid much attention to them. The material that the IPC provides, as I mentioned earlier, and the walls that the architects build are largely ignored by the Eon, and it doesn't even seem to care about the actions of its followers. 
Despite this, the IPC and the architects continue with their forms of devotion. Whether or not Clipoth is really protecting the universe from something or it's just having fun playing intergalactic Lego, we won't really ever know. But from the perspective of these factions, they likely don't care either way and place their trust fully on the Eon. What is certain is that through their actions, they do contribute to the path of preservation and likely empower Clipoth to a certain degree, allowing it to continue working on its construction projects. That's basically the two factions we know that associate themselves with the Eon Clipoth. I'll cover more in the future and if you have a specific faction you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, do consider liking and subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and as usual, have a nice day.